Hey guys, it's Tracy. I am sharing my Patriotic USA burlap wreath. Now this wreath is pretty simple and I wanted to share that you don't need to use a lot of ribbons, a lot of embellishments to make a cute patriotic wreath. Now the ribbons that I'm using in this project is the blue and the burlap came from Walmart and the red and burlap stripe came from Hobby Lobby. I'm starting with a 14 inch wire form and I get these at the Dollar Tree when they're available um, and then I'm using a bubble technique. I just start with a it's about a five and a half inch burlap and I just secure the ends uh, of the, the burlap with a Chanel stem and then I start in the inner ring I pull it through then I go to the middle ring then I go to the outer ring then I squish it together and then I start over in the inner ring the middle ring and then the outer ring When I come to the end of my burlap wreath, I will secure the edges with a Chanel stem directly to the wire. I cut my ribbons at 10 inches in length and then I V cut or dovetail the edges of the ribbons before I put them on the wreath. Now I use the same sequence, I just use these two ribbons, this red and burlap stripe. Uh, I'm going to put that down and I tried to do one one way and this blue with the burlap stars I put that one a different way so one was sideways and one was up and down. So it kind of looks like this. Really the ribbon is just really what makes this wreath pop. I added some jute. I made some little bows. Just real simple. Just three loops on each side. And then I tied it in the middle. And uh, just added it to uh, directly into those Chanel stems. I decided that my wreath needed a bow. Now this ribbon is a little bit thicker and so I'm going to show you here how I make a bow working with this type of ribbon. I cut the ribbons into sections, the little loops, and then I attach them with my little stapler that works great for stuff like this. And then I can work with it a little bit better. I kind of squeeze that in the middle just kind of like loosen up those fibers a little bit and then I can attach it all together even though that they're separate I can attach them together using one Chanel stem.
Needle nose pliers are uh, a tool that I use often when with making wreaths because I can pull those Chanel stems really tight. When I get the look that I want, I will attach it to the wreath using the rest of that Chanel stem and uh, just repositioning it and just kind of forming it the way that I want. The USA letters are from the Chip Decor and these are sold exclusively at Hobby Lobby and I painted them up. I put two coats of paint on each letter. So for the red, I used Santa Red. For the blue, I used Navy Blue. And for this color, I used Buttermilk. I did some highlighting by shading the U and the S with some white paint and for the A I used some brown paint to shade around the A. Now I'm using an ultra fine sharpie marker and I like to do this just to give each letter a little more definition, a uh, little doodling to my projects. I will give each of my letters a coat of the gloss varnish. This is the one that I use for my wood crafts. And I just attach them to the burlap wreath just with some glue, some hot glue as well as some Aileen's Tacky Glue. 